I'm Guy Olivier Gonganjawa. I just graduated from the Amasia Group. And today we're really privileged to have uh, Professor Lin Lu. She's uh, director of the Adlinga Center for Energy and Environment at Princeton University. And she's also a professor of chemical and biological engineering. Professor Lin Lu, thank you very much for accepting our invitation for this interview. Oh, thanks for having me. So, the first question we have for you is, what is the importance of writing in academia for students and postdocs in general? I, I mean, I think writing is, is very important. It, it's, it's equally important to your technical skills. Um, being able to accomplish something technically is good, but then the writing is your mechanism for conveying all this information to the public, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, being able to convey this information to the public is, is hugely important. Right. Um, so. In, in writing, I mean, uh, with my group and my students, I mean, we spent we spent many many hours and we go through many many drafts in figuring out painstakingly what how to craft the sentence just right so that you lower the barrier as much as possible um, to make your articles um, as accessible as possible to the readers. Great, thank you very much. And, and I think the, the the real question is always that in academia, it's not always. Um, standard or typical classes to learn how to write and hold those skills. And what would be your recommendation for students and postdocs into honing those skills which you just mentioned are very critical? Write, write and keep writing. I know, I mean, when I remember when I was a grad student and I tell this story all the time, um, I actually was hugely afraid of writing and so I never actually took a humanities or social science course because um, they required so much writing. So when I became a grad student and had to write my first piece of paper, it, it just took forever and um, it was under my um, then advisor's uh, recommendation that I took a sophomore level English writing class and had to write short essays. Granted, that's very different from writing technical papers. But that experience, you know, just putting the pen to the paper um, encouraged me to write. And it's through lots of writing and lots of practice that, that you then kind of get a hang of it. Because it's never easy. It's, it's like doing experiments. Doing experiments is never easy. But you eventually get a hang of it. Writing is like that too. So you need to know who your audience is. Um, and you need to write to your audience, um, and, and it needs to be clear and concise and simple. So it can't be too dense, it, it cannot contain all these jargons that are not explained. Um, in my opinion, active voices are good, short sentences are good, um, as simple as straightforward is good. That's very insightful. Uh, so, in, so, in general, in, in academia, it's, it's, I think it's a situation for many people to look for postdocs, uh, let's say, or any kind of job, apply as a student, a group, um, for, for research. And usually people are really worried about how to present their CV, you know, what, what is expected in academia. I think in industry, people kind of have an idea, but in academia, the taste might change. What would be your advice to people who are sending applications to, to groups, research um, groups? Well, I mean, I think, I think the CV, at that juncture, you know, your CV is not 10 pages long. Your CV should be two to three pages long, max. I think you want to emphasize publications because that's where um, um, uh, your, your future employee is going to see what your accomplishments are. Uh, you want to emphasize the skills that you've learned um, in, in, in your resume or your CV. Um, it shouldn't be too dense, right? I mean, you, you need it to be legible, so it needs to have decent margins. It needs to have a decent font size. I mean, these all may seem kind of straightforward, but when you write in eight-point font and you have no margins, it's very, very difficult to read. And when you're faced with you know, a lot of CVs, you're going to put that aside to read something that's more easily legible, right? I think. Um, so making it easy for people to read, I think the theme is, is always recurring, is, is the most important thing. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Lin. Yeah, Professor Lin. and um, I would encourage those who are, uh, who are watching this to, to come to um, the Cal student-sponsored event at the MRS meeting uh, to learn how to write more effectively. Thank you very much for taking the time yeah, to participate. Sure.